Malcolm, I haven't eaten all night. That's not what this is. Malcolm, it's one in the morning. Can we just eat and go to sleep? Please, Marie, I really don't want to fight tonight. Neither do I. That is why I'm making you mac and cheese. That is a, I love that you said that because um, that was actually um, a choice that I, that I made. Um, There's a part where Sam, you know, he kind of came up to me. He was like, Z, you don't want to put on like something. Cause I feel like people might be, and I was like, no, no, no. I want her to kind of fight without having this armor. You know, I think it, it made it a little bit more difficult on me as an actress, you know, to have to like command this, like this, you know, uh, with the, uh, this authority and this power without having any help, you know, it was just me and my like gangly little body. Um, so I had to be very like present and aware of everything that my body was doing, um, which I thought was like an extra challenge. And I had to be stripped back and had nothing else to kind of rely on and just do it on my own. You know, she was like, she's naked in a sense, you know? Um, and that's like a very vulnerable place to be. Um, and to work from that and find power in that vulnerability, I think is a really, can be tough, but also really, really exciting. Well, you know, Sam kind of wrote, um, Malcolm and Marie. I mean, he wrote it cause I asked, I was like, Hey, you know, can we do something? Um, but he, um, you know, he kind of wrote it for John David and myself, oh. you know, he knew that he was writing it for me, obviously, but the yeah. only person in his head when he was thinking of writing Malcolm was, was John David. Um, so those are the people he saw as he was writing it. And we just kind of fingers crossed that, um, when he called him with about like Le less than 20 pages of dialogue that hopefully he'd be interested, you know? Um, and what was really interesting is because he was only like a few, however many pages in, you know, John David was already asking questions um, that we didn't even think about, like was asking these, these really thoughtful and insightful questions that I think help shape my idea of where the film was going to go and Sam's idea of where he was going to write it to go. And he was kind of already acting as a producer before you know he was even decided he wanted to come on or not but um he what well, uh, you know he's he he's great at that you know and and really special mm, that's a good question I think there's a lot um that both of us I think both Malcolm and Marie say that I I don't I I probably maybe wouldn't say or would say a different kind of way or there's things that I've said in my personal life that I just don't feel like I should say, you know what I mean? Like there's all these things. Um, but I think, um, I'm trying to think of specifically a great line um, that Marie says, Sometimes and sometimes not, you know, I think it depends on how comfortable I am. I think one thing that I think is special about Sam and I's collaboration is we're brutally honest with each other. So if he writes something and I feel like it's like BS, you know, um, I'll tell him, I was like, I don't, it, this doesn't work for me. It doesn't make sense. I don't, I don't connect to it. And the same way that if I, you know, if he feels like my performance isn't there or there's a take where I just wasn't connecting, he'll be like, I don't, I don't, I don't buy it. And, and, and in that way, we push each other to be better creatives. So I'm very grateful that in my like creative space or my creative world, I can be honest. And I have a space where it's never about ego, but just about making a better, a better, um, a better piece of art.